Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got a sound system demo of the 10 speaker Bose audio system in the 2020 Mazda CX-5. Now this sound system is available in the Touring trim with the Special Options package, I think it's about $1,300, or Grand Touring, Grand Touring Reserve, or Signature, like we have here, standard. Now interestingly, this is only a 249 watt system from the best I was able to figure out. So we'll see how that kind of plays in to the overall sound quality that it can provide. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the car. So this is Mazda's top level trim of their compact crossover, all wheel drive signature model. Looks good here in this gray metallic paint, nice gray wheels. If you guys want to see more on this CX-5 in general, we've got a full featured review featuring me and Alyssa going around the car and giving our thoughts, as well as a real-world highway fuel economy test that this car debuted. Before we get back in, let's check out speaker grill locations here. So we've got one, um, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, wait for this to come up, hmm, well, we've got eight right here, the subwoofer, so we're missing two speakers, now it could be one of two things, either one, I missed one, or two, there are two speakers hiding in one speaker grill is probably the case. I don't see any more. Hmm. So, that's why we count speaker grills instead of actual speakers. And a lot of times manufacturers hide them away. But at least you can see where they're at. There might even be two more hiding up here. Center and Kind of two side flankers there. Anyway, so we always do these audio system tests with the factory default sound settings. We go into here, got your standard bass, treble, front, rear, and left, right fader and balance. Let's check those out now. Then you also have Bose Center Point, which kind of creates a 3D centered experience. This way it sounds a little bit wider. Then you've also got Bose Audio Pilot, which will adjust your volume level of music depending on the ambient noise level in the car, typically from road and wind noise when you get up to speed. So we'll leave that all centered out for now, maybe play around with it by the end of the test. So in terms of audio inputs for the CX-5, you've got a decent amount. You have, let's see, that's just a 12 volt. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. You have Bluetooth, AHA, which was kind of a, an internet streaming radio service, as well as Pandora and Stitcher. Then you've got two USB ports in here, and then also a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So what are you missing? Well, you don't, got, you don't have a CD player. Not too common to see those here in 2020 on new vehicles, but still be nice to have for high fidelity audio. In terms of audio system controls, I really like how Mazda does their layouts here because you've got this nice, easy to use center rotary knob here. So you're driving along and once you get used to using it, you can easily go from home over to say map or just use the buttons to go straight back over to your audio system super easily, barely even have to take your eyes off the road. Kind of turns into muscle memory, it's very nice. But then, if you're stopped and you want, you're welcome to use it as a touchscreen. 
I don't typically use the touchscreen feature. It's pretty far away. It's a little bit laggy. I kind of just prefer to use the center thing, keep the fingerprints off of there, but it is nice to have that option. So for volume adjustments, you have a nice knob right here next to your center control knob. It's got good detents. You can push for mute. Then you've got steering wheel controls up and down right here. For track selection, you can cycle through to the track forward, back and pause using the center rotary knob. And you can select from the steering wheel as well, back and forth, or use the touch screen when you're stopped. This is a little different from Mazda's new system, like in the CX-30 and, and Mazda 3, where you can just use the volume knob and toggle back and forth between tracks. So not quite as functional, but still useful. All right, let's fire it up. Unfortunately, the music ducks out, but it is what it is. Let's get on the road and listen to a few more tracks. So this does feature the 2.5 liter turbocharged motor. So once we get up to speed on the highway, I'll turn the music down and let you hear what that sounds like at 70 miles per hour. trying one new thing with this sound system demo compared to our old ones. You may have noticed we're shooting in a narrower field of view than typical. I thought that might be useful for those of you who really want to see what's going on on the screen rather than just having kind of a more holistic view like we use for our actual driving POV shots. So let me know what you think about this viewing angle. Maybe it works better for these videos. kind of tough to tell because the sound, uh, the music is kind of getting a little softer right here, but the Bose Audio Pilot actually quieted the music a little bit for us as we were coming down to the stop here, and then as we get going, it'll raise the volume again. Works quite well. Now that we're coming up to highway speeds, I'll close the sunroof shade and let you hear what this car sounds like at 70. A lot of people have concern because the first generation CX-5 did suffer from a good amount of wind noise on highway and just road noise in general, just didn't have a lot of sound ending. But they improved upon that for the facelift of the CX-5. This is a fairly quiet stretch of highway, and you can see it's it's pretty good. It's not the quietest in its class. It's a little bit of extra noise from the glass that I wouldn't like to kind of still have, but it's not as bad as the older one, and it's not as bad in general. All right, so this next track will really test the CX-5's audio capabilities.
observations on the CX-5's 10-speaker Bose system. After driving around a bunch, doing the highway fuel economy test, listening to a lot of different sort of music, I'm a tad bit disappointed. I've driven a few different high-level Mazdas in these past few months. The CX-30 with its Bose system, and the CX, uh, not CX, the Mazda 6 sedan with its Bose system. And I expected this one to be right on par, if not slightly better than both of those. You've got a little bit bigger cabin, a little more space to put speakers. It's also a little bit more expensive car, so I feel like you can justify maybe upping the ante a little bit. But there's a hollowness to the sound, and I just cannot seem to get rid of it. it, it there are certain songs that it doesn't show through quite as much. I think a little bit more of the kind of electronic and hip-hop sort of music. But in the rock and that kind of music, like, like this song, you just really hear an openness. It's, it's kind of like an exaggeration of the mid-range sounds. And it's really missing a top-end crispness. I found what I needed to do to enjoy the music a little bit better is go into the sound settings here and turn the bass up one and the treble up two just to kind of add a little bit more to the system. So let's do that now. Bass up one. For this type of music, I might even do bass up two as well, but we'll leave it at one. The music's gonna pick up again here in a second. Let's see what we think. You can already hear there's a little bit more crispness having that trouble up. There's just, there are weird parts of the music kind of being emphasized, emphasized. Man, tell us a Sunday. Weird parts of the music being emphasized that I know aren't really natural to the song because I've listened to this track on so, so many different systems. So we're going to restart this song one more time. And I want you to hear when the bass guitar comes in, the upper guitar kind of gets quieter, and it's not supposed to do that. It definitely sounds better with the audio system adjusted just that little bit, the settings on there. One more track and see what we think here with the system adjusted a bit. I'm also going to toggle the center point on and off. Let's see what you guys think about that. I kind of think I prefer it on in this car, but it sort of depends on what music I'm listening to. Those upper kind of spread out piano key hits right there, kind of coming through harsh in my ears. I'm not. Not loving that. I could definitely go for more low end right here too. strong system like the Mark Levinson in the GX460 or the Burmeister in the GLS 580, the bass line in the song was like pumping through the cabin. That's just not really happening here. This song actually sounds a little bit more true with center point off, so a little less processing in it. A little bit more bass. Anyway, if I had to give a rating to the Bose system here in the CX-5 signature, I'd be giving it about a six and a half. 
if it gets a seven, it's only because I really like the way this infotainment system works. I think it's intuitive, safe to use, easy to use, and it makes sense. But for audio system, I'm just a little bit disappointed considering I've driven cheaper Mazdas that sound better. If I had to be subjective and kind of within its class in the kind of compact crossover class, I'd give it probably about a seven, seven and a half. It's definitely stronger than the Honda system, but I know it's not quite as good as Toyota's RAV4. Anyway, I hope you guys were able to get a good impression for the Bose system here in the CX-5. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos on the CX-5 as well as some of our other sound system tests. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.